Welcome to Expedition Casts. I'm David Guggenheim, the Ocean Doctor. In the summer of 2007, Greenpeace led an expedition to Alaska to explore the two largest underwater canyons in the Bering Sea. On a good day, this is what I get to drive to work. It's the deep worker submarine, capable of diving to 2,000 feet and keeping you there for up to three days should you want to stay that long. Think of it as a personal submarine. If it's only one person, no tether to the surface. You're free to explore. I'm often asked, aren't you scared to go down in that thing? But in all the years I've been in the water, I've never been attacked by a sea creature. Until this dive, that is. No, it wasn't the giant squid, but it was some of its smaller cousins. Deep worker six passing eight zero zero eight zero zero. Lots of squid here. On almost all of our dives, we encountered a very thick layer of squid, anywhere from about 800 to 1,000 feet. These are the opalescent inshore squid, but are more commonly known on the west coast as California market squid, about half a foot to a foot long. Their blinding speed, coupled with their armament of two powerful tentacles in addition to their eight legs, barbed suckers, and a razor-sharp beak give them quite an edge over their prey. So why were they attacking me? Well, it was simply a case of mistaken identity. One of the squid's favorite prey is lanternfish, which are bioluminescent. They create their own flashes of light. And down here, in the darkness, anything bright will attract squid, especially the bright lights of a sub. Deep Worker 6 at 900900. Very thick squid. Roger that, 900. If I were a lanternfish, I wouldn't have had a chance. The squid would suddenly appear out of the darkness, blast their ink, which they use to confuse their prey, and then try to take a bite of the sub. Soon there was so much ink in the water that it appeared that my lights were smoking. Sometimes the squid actually seemed frustrated when they couldn't tear a piece of the sub's hull away, and they'd let loose with another blast of ink. Deep Worker 6 on bottom at 1103-1103. Squid are one of the most important links in the ocean food chain, providing sustenance for hundreds of species, like these dolls porpoises who love to follow our submarines. Uh these magnificent fur seals on St. Paul Island. Squid are commercially fished around the world, and though their numbers sometimes seem limitless, we now know that that's not the case, and measures are needed to protect squid. So in the end, being squid bait for a day was a good thing. It gave me an entirely new perspective and appreciation for these amazing animals and the leading role that they play here in the dark depths of the Bering Sea. <laughs>